Welcome to today's video. The 2024 Grammy nominations have arrived, and let me tell you, this year is full of surprises, snubs, and a touch of nostalgia. As always, there are some big names we expected to see, but there are also some nominees who might just shock you. Let's dive right into it. Beyonce, Kendrick Lamar, Billie Eilish, and Taylor Swift. Names we've seen year after year, and this year, they're making their presence known once again. But it's Beyonce's new album, Cowboy Carter, that's causing the most buzz. With nominations in multiple genres, she's not just playing the game, she's rewriting the rule book. But it's not just her. Sabrina Carpenter and Chapel Roan have both made waves in the mainstream, and artists like Shibuzi and Charlie XCX are taking over in ways we didn't expect. Speaking of Charlie XCX, let's talk about her for a moment. With seven nominations, more than even Taylor Swift, she cemented her place as a powerhouse in the music world. Her album Brat challenges the pop conventions, blending internet culture and nightlife into something fresh and bold. A.G. Cook, her collaborator, is also in the running. Charlie is definitely in the mix to win, especially in the dance and electronic categories. Will she be the one to steal the spotlight? Time will tell. But then we have the Beatles. Yes, you heard that right. Their final track, Now and Then, has been nominated for Record of the Year. It's based on a demo from John Lennon in the 1970s and feels like a relic from the past. But even though their music is decades old, the Grammys are still finding a way to keep their legacy alive. But do they deserve the nomination? Or is this just another way the Grammys honor legendary artists rather than focusing on emerging talent? And here's another wild card, Andre 3000. His album, New Blue Sun, features him stepping away from rap and exploring the world of jazz with a flute album. Now, this nomination has people talking. Some see it as a genuine recognition of his artistry, while others think it's just the Grammys trying to create an emotional moment. Regardless, it's a bold move, and it's definitely something different. Now let's talk about Drake, or rather, his absence. This year, Drake hasn't made much of a splash in the Grammy nominations. Many wonder if the Recording Academy has a Drake problem. While Kendrick Lamar, Future, and Metro Boomin are dominating in the rap categories, Drake is nowhere to be found. Does his absence open the door for others, or is this a sign of something bigger happening in the rap world? Despite all these surprises, it's clear that this year's Grammy nominations are a little safer than we'd like. While there are some fresh faces, like Charlie XCX and Andre 3000, the list still feels a bit predictable. The Grammys have always been a place where art meets mainstream culture, but this year, it's hard not to wonder if they're playing it too safe. However, there's a definite rise in the power of women in pop music. Beyonce, Billie Eilish, Sabrina Carpenter, and Chapel Roan are leading the charge, and it's exciting to see them getting the recognition they deserve. The Grammy nominations seem to reflect this shift, but it also raises the question, will this year's ceremony feel like a true celebration of the new wave of talent, or will we just get another round of the same familiar faces? The 2024 Grammy nominations bring with them a lot of exciting moments. From the resurgence of iconic acts to the rise of fresh talent, it's clear that the Recording Academy is trying to keep up with the times. But as we look forward to the ceremony in February, one thing's for sure. This will be a year to remember, whether for the surprises or the snubs. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more Grammy updates. See you next time.